there are many of us who think that our dealing with God ends by God just giving no it does not end by God just doing no for everything you force the hand of God to give you you will account for it and God expects that you keep it to the end sometimes the end of what God does for you is not the end of your life what God is going to do for some of us he expects us to keep it till we die there are some too that he expects us to keep it till his purpose for our lives is shifted to another dimension and then whatever he did for you would have to cease but without that it is God's responsibility to give and then our collaboration with him effectively to keep it won't you if you lose what God gives you one of the things that you must understand in this life is that what is important in your life is not with you receiving from the Lord but it's what you do with what you have received and I search through my Bible and all I see continually is accountability how you kept the salvation the Lord gave you how you kept the giftings of the Lord how you kept the company the Lord gave you how you kept the family the Lord gave you you will account for it you need to have the keys and the understanding and the mysteries to how to keep whatever the Lord has delivered to you the Bible says it is appointed unto a man to die once after that judgment everything God has ever given you you will account for it to whom much is given much is expected the Bible says and he spoke to his disciples he began to address the subject of stewardship accountability then he finishes and tell them that anyone that is not faithful in that which is not his he said that even what he has will be taken away from him and nobody will give him anything that is precious accountability disciples are you now so if jesus was preaching to us like in the days where uh, luke had recorded it will be us right now the question here is do you know that by your privilege of salvation and everything that the lord has given you you will account apostle paul says that because of that i'm jealous i'm jealous over you second corinthians 11 2 he said i'm jealous over you like a wife a virgin that has been betrothed to her husband he said i'm jealous over you with godly jealousy you have to understand that everything god has given you you keep it with a holy jealousy so apostle paul would not allow any wolf to enter the church he was jealous over what god has given him the question is what has god given you and how are you keeping it we just know how to pray for God to move but we don't know how to keep the move of God that's today's generation we know how to pray for God to give us a job but we don't know how to sustain the job we know how to pray for God to give us anointing but we don't know how to keep the anointing we know how to pray for God to give us positions but we don't know how to keep the position and the question is that if you lose anything God gives you, today you won't feel anything, but on the final day you will be judged. Accountability. If you understand this, you will know that you won't smile to anybody that wants to temper with what God has put into your hands. You won't just smile. 
Eh, if I lose it, that is fine. I know God is a loving God. He will give me again. No, you will be judged on what you lost and what you give. You will. Many people don't know that every penny God gave you, if you want to doubt this, go and read Matthew 25. Those who buried their gifts, they were accounted for. The Lord didn't say because you didn't use your gift. That is it. The one that used it and got ten, he accounted. The one that used it and got five, he accounted. The one that was buried, he was called and shaped. You will account. Every little thing. Even the children the Lord has given you, you will account. 